So the importance of sugary snacks for weight loss and weight maintenance. People ask me, Harley, you're so lean. You know, you've got the 2% body fat on the face and you're just lean as. What's the secret? I'll tell you what. I never, ever go hungry. I've always got some sugary snacks on hand, always. I've got some uh, dry banana here, full of sugar, and only maybe, you know, a gram or two of fat per 100 grams. So full of sugar, high sugar content, high fructose, high sucrose, high glucose, high sugar snacks, always on hand. If I can't get, first preference is fresh fruit, dried fruit second, third one would be juice, high sugar fruit juice. I choose one with no preservatives, no colors, no flavors added. That means it's better quality. So all this is is uh, pineapple juice, sugar, vitamin C. So high sugar drink. High sugar drink's the key. Now people think, well, hang on, I got taught that high sugar is bad. And it's like, well, <laughs> who tortured that? People who are overweight or people who are sort of semi-lean, but you can see under their eyes, they've got these big black panda circles. See, I don't really have any black under there. I don't have adrenal burnout because I'm eating the high sugar diet. What was that little sexy girl then? Good sexy girl, come back at you. So, uh, high sugar snacks always. So never let yourself get hungry. Have your high sugar snacks on hand always. Your fruit, your fruit juice, high sugar. And never let yourself get thirsty. I always have a water bottle around. This is uh, made by Camelback. It's BPA free. And uh, the top bit, I just pulled off that plastic bit. So it's easy to clean. And uh, give it a clean now and then. But it's always having a water bottle on hand. I have it next to my desk. Whoa, hey, sexy girl, come over here for a little bit. A lean physique. Now, here's a, another example of a lean physique. Sexy lean. You can go whenever you want. So, again, that's the secret. I've showed you a female physique. I've showed you a male physique. I've been doing this program for a long time. I've been like 11 years on the high sugar vegan lifestyle freely. How long have you been high sugar vegan for now? Six years. Six years. So, freely was overweight when she started. So, there you go. <laughs> Judge my results, not by theory. So, Weight loss tip, always have high sugar snacks on hand, always have a water bowl on hand, never let yourself get hungry, never let yourself get thirsty, drink before thirst, eat before hunger, high sugar snacks, easy, do it, please, fruit's your friend, sugar's your friend, fruit's your friend, sugar's your friend, sugar, sugar, fruit, fruit, fruit's the best, obviously, because it's got all the nutrients and enzymes and the vitamins, minerals, plants, sterols, etc. in there. Fruit's your friend. But anyone who says sugar makes you fat, they're meaning chocolate, 50% calories from fat, donuts, 50% calories from fat, ice cream, 50% calories from fat, or with all the animal protein that has all the endotoxins and bloats you out, fattens you out. So that's where sugar's got the bad rep of all the company that sugar's normally attached to, the fat, the dairy, the whey, the casein, the egg, all those foods that puff you out and give you the fat butt, fat gut, fat neck, fat face. Doesn't make you a bad person, but it's not good for your health. So high sugar snacks on hand always. I'm not talking 50% calories, chocolate, or donuts. I'm talking fruit, low fat, high sugar, high sugar, high fructose. Understood? Carb the fuck up. Subscribe, comment. See you soon. And share this video with your carbophobic friends and say, how come Drew and Ride is 2% body fat and Freely's like 8% body fat and they're on high sugar and they hardly fucking train at all?